The AI boom has led to a huge run for semiconductor stocks like Nvidia, AMD, and more. But the question is, can it continue? In this week's Market Moves, we'll explain what's been driving the growth and we'll break down the growing battle between two of the industry's biggest players. So hit that subscribe button and let's dive in. Okay, let's start with what's happening in the stock market. Now, we've been in a bull market that's been great for the S&P 500, which is up more than 15% in the past year. It's been great for the TSX, which is up more than 20% in the past year. But few groups have enjoyed the kind of rally the semiconductor stocks have enjoyed, and specifically those companies that are most directly tied to the AI boom. That group has seen performance that has more than doubled the broader market in the past year. Okay, let's get into the why. Why has this group seen such amazing stock market performance? Well, quite simply, it has everything to do with growth. Introducing new technology requires chips. They've been powering the AI revolution. According to an August report from researchers at the NASDAQ, the global semiconductor industry is coming off a robust 2024, and it's projected to grow another 15% in 2025. And if you zoom out, Fortune Business Insights estimates that the global market in semis could reach $803 billion by 2028. That would be up from $425 billion US in 2021. Now, as for which companies get the bulk of that business, that is an evolving story. As an example, the industry titan NVIDIA has seen its business surge. Sales were up 56% in the most recent quarter. But at the same time, a lot of the companies that are buying from NVIDIA are developing their own chip technology so that they can have more control themselves. For example, in a recent video on my Ticker Take YouTube channel, we spoke with industry analyst Jay Goldberg of Seaport Research Partners who highlighted the growing battle between NVIDIA and Broadcom. NVIDIA, in Jay's words, wants to sell you the whole stack. So not just chips, they want to sell you networking and servers and memory, even data centers. They want to control everything, whereas Broadcom wants to be almost a menu to companies, letting them buy whatever pieces they need to buy. So the industry is definitely growing, but competition is also rising. Now, if you're curious about investing in semiconductors, Global X has you covered. The Global X Artificial Intelligence Semiconductor ETF, CHPS, tracks the leading companies in this industry right now. You can learn more about that at globalx.ca. Thanks so much for watching Market Moves. What market moves are you watching? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next Market Moves video. See you next time.